Greetings, Entities and Guardians, my name is Hyper Himes, and welcome back to Cookie Run of a Break, where I'm going to be focusing on another trial today. However, it's a trial that I legitimately have never played before, and to be honest, I would have assumed that I've played before, considering of like the time frame that I played Cookie Run, but I'm pretty sure when this Cookie released, it was in a point in my life where I, I couldn't even play Cookie Run, because like I was injured, you know, plebbing, I don't want to speak the name into existence, but I'm just saying it had me out for like plebbing about, about a month. And like, yeah, sure, I could play Cookie Run, but I couldn't record it for content, so it just kind of killed my drive for the game. However, if we go to Cookie Trials, and... Excuse me. My lord, I don't know what I've been eating, but it's probably nothing. But if we scroll down, if we just take a look at, like, this list right here. Can you see if there's a certain cookie that, like, you know, I haven't played with specifically? If you answered Shuro Cookie, then you would be 100% correct. I have apparently... I have... A, no knowledge with Churro Cookie. Now, of course, I understand they were involved with the update with, uh, first of all, I just, I just want to check something real quick. Is, uh, I, 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 I'm just trying to check something in general. Okay, I just see a lot of theirs. Okay, so just in case, I'm just going to say that. Uh, I'm going to be honest, I've never played with Churro Cookie before, and, like, I understand they were part of the story with the cookie molds and also Wind Archer Cookie and stuff like that, but, like, I just need to understand more of the lore, which is why I'm also going to be doing the trial for it. And I, at first, I wasn't going to, but then I checked for the, like, the, I checked the requirements. Look at this. Level 6 and level 4 with a level 5 magic candy. I may not have the magic candy, but Churro Kiki for me is level 9 and level 6 for the pets. I don't know why, but apparently I just have them, like, I just have them straight up, like, highly leveled. I don't know why, apparently I just do. But, I'm gonna see if I can get diamond rank in this, and if I can, that would be great. But before I can even do that, I need to really read up on some of this, some of the club story. So, it says, according to the story, a sweet and savory aroma lingers throughout the labyrinth, the, the lab, the rat, what? The labyrinthine woods? Alright, a sweet and savory aroma lingers throughout the labyrinthine woods. Follow your nose and you'll discover a village within the heart of the forest. Long has the Churro tribe kept watch over the temple uh, guard, I kept, I want to say guards. Well, the tribe kept watch over the temple grounds of the millennial tree. Their very history is engraved upon the temple's mural, uh, murals and their prayers echo throughout its halls. To become a true warrior and guardian of the temple, one must endure the tri uh, trials or trails, I'm pretty sure trials, and be anointed with a layer of chocolate. Among them, Churro Cookie has safeguarded both the temple and village from fearsome foes. With a sacred gauntlet, okay, it's his, he calls upon the spirits of nature and roots of the forest to protect, ne to protect never to harm. His humble prayers to the tree proceed throughout day and night, but one day, one day, the tree's roots engulf the entire village, forcing all into a deep slumber. Only Churro Cookie managed to break free and awaken, and now this once devoted guardian is seeking answers. All right. I think this cookie has one of the longest stories of any cookie so far, and according to his skill, summons churro trunks from below the earth at certain intervals, launching them into the air and destroying oncoming obstacles to create churro jellies. Level up for more points for churro jellies. Alright, he also has a pet called Churro Stump, but I'm pretty sure originally this pet was called Stumpy. Which is just very cute. But, according to, their, <laughs> according to their story, a small stump was dreaming of radiant sunlight and grand branches of green. The stump grew taller, and soon later, cookies relaxed under the shade of its branches and leaves. And all of a sudden, the dream popped and ended. While training to summon Churro Trunks, Churro Cookie accidentally brought the slumbering and dreaming stump to life. But that's alright, because Churro Stump knows that this dream will become true one day. It's, this is, they, they have so much hope, that's so sweet. And their skill is that the flies forward at given intervals and falls into a dream-filled slumber. While dreaming, the pet creates churro berries. After waking up, the churro berries fall to the ground. Level up for more points for churro berries. So they literally make things in a dream come to life. That's a broken cookie, that's, that's overpowered. Takes things out of a completely different dimension. And also they have an associated treasure called the Lucky Clover Earrings. Which, honestly, I really like the design of these. It looks like a pair of wings, but apparently it's just ear- uh, it's- it's just earrings. But the story for this says, Wear these lucky clover earrings, and something unexpected and lucky might happen. I would- I would left- I would definitely like a pair. And the skill says, Randomly creates valuable lucky clover jellies. Level up for more points for lucky clover jellies. Alright, and also it's associated apparently with Sorbet Shark and Space Donut. What an odd cookie selection to have for, like, those flipping the th things. I don't know. But, alright. I think we have everything we should equip. I probably need to have some better treasures equipped. Though I will equip the cl Lucky Clover earrings just in case. And then I'll take a look at whatever rankings need to have. You know, the rankings just for like the top tier. What things are going to be equipped for the best amount of score. But for now, let me just get these treasures on and we should be all set. Where are what, the egg and the treasure thing? 
Obviously, I gotta get those clover earrings, but apparently we also need the egg, apparently. That's great. So, that. Uh, egg and treasure map. Great. Alright. Give this a gander. Give this a run. See who we do. Let's do, let's, let's have fun. Alright. Never really gave this guy a voice. I probably have to make it serious just to make sense. Because, I mean, when your whole entire... This is like the third tribe I've heard of. You got the Mala tribe. And now you, and then there's the Rambutan tribe. Which I guess in order, it would be actually uh, the Mala tribe. And then the Churro tribe. And then the Rambutan tribe. How many tribes are there? I should... I, you know, that would be a good poll to make. Oh, I missed the Big Bear Jelly. Uh, that would be a good poll for, for, like, for me to make. Who would you prefer? The Mala tribe? Churro tribe, Rambutan tribe, or I mean, whatever tribe there is in the game. Because there's probably, to, heck, especially if you take in, con, like, if you take kingdom in consideration, there's probably a lot of other tribes that I don't even have any knowledge about. But of course, I'm pretty sure I'm running with Churro Cookie without the magic candy. And if I do, it's probably very low level. And I know what you're saying. You just saw the menu for Churro Cookie. You really didn't see uh, the plebbing, if you really didn't see if you had the magic candy equipped or not. No, I just gotta be straight up honest with you. I did not. I was too focused on the fact that I have never ran with Churro Cookie in the Plumbing Trials before. Which, to be honest, if I haven't ran with Churro Cookie to Trials, I'm pretty sure I'm assuming that I just don't have his magic candy. But, also, I'm assuming you gotta give this Plum a serious voice because, I mean, he literally just had to run from his tribe because a whole entire, tr like, cursed tree was taking control of everything and put everyone to sleep. And now he- this pub just wants some answers. And by the way, how many sharks needs to fly- Okay, spe specifically like these baby sharks. That I really hope I don't hear any like doot doot doos anytime soon. But like, okay, I gotta be honest, I was distracted by that tree. They, they just look so adorable. But uh, how many baby sharks are in here? There's are so plumbing many! Is this why Sorbet Shark was associated with the plumbing treasure? Because, I swear. You think any of them are related? There's at least got to be one. Which I hope if that's the case, I hope I'm not actually hurting them. Because they're friends. They didn't do anything wrong. Well, then again, they're jumping at me and trying to bite me. That's something that I would consider doing something probably wrong. Okay, just... I literally just jumped over the rainbow bear jelly. Thank you so much, Turo. Oh, no, the bag. Why? I would like more loot, please. We're only in silver now. To be honest, I definitely don't think I'm going to get diamond rank at this rank. At uh, this rate? Diamond rank at this rate. However, I feel like we would be reasonably close. Oh. I'm getting deja vu from jumping over here. Is this something from, uh, guild runs? I'm getting some deja vu from, like, those platform jumping segments. I don't know. I think it probably is, to be honest, because I think I recognize that. I think I remember making those jumps with a cherry ball cookie. But, okay. Jump time. Get the speed boost. Yeah, this definitely looks familiar. All these sharks. I swear. How many sharks? Do you, do you know what we... Okay, a cool concept I should do. Oh, no. Uh, I mean, I did get the speed and also the... Uh, the plumbing giant potion. However, I didn't get the magnet. Which, that's just the best thing. Just so you can collect literally everything. But, uh... Okay. Well, I'm down, but I'm also... Uh, I got that. Well, I guess my skill got, like, used again. So, I guess that's better. Uh, but anyway... Well, you know what would be a fun thing to do I should do? I should make a video where it's just me playing through this trial, but I should challenge the viewers for like a reward, telling like everyone to like, alright, count how many sharks you find in this video, because oh my lord, the amount of them are insane. There are so plumbing many that even I cannot keep count. Like, how could anyone logistically like keep count of that? I am curious. Well, then again, if I did that, I, that would also rely on me having to count the sharks as well. I do not think I have the time for that. I'm just saying. Mm, yeah, that definitely looks like an unquenched magic candy right there. Oh, this is going to take a lot of my magic powder, isn't it? Ah, plub it. I definitely... I should probably extract some of my items just so I can get some more magic powder, to be honest. Because I've been using a lot of that up. But anyway, here's a delicious magic candy, good sir. That looks delicious. Let's just look at churro. Just with a plebbing, uh, chocolate coated over it. That just looks delicious. Level 2. Level 3. Level 4. And I'm pretty sure... Do I have enough? No, I need to get one more. Here's 27 crystals. Oh, there we go. Full level magic candy. Which also, I'm gonna add the enhancement to it. Because... 
you know, extra points, which I know it doesn't affect the trials. However, this could be useful for like custom runs or something like that. But okay, basic jellies, that's really good. But also, I equipped new treasures. I swapped out two of the treasures. I still have the clover earrings, but according to the rankings, good treasures I have is the hot rod and also the treasure of legends, the essence of confagoration or whatever it is. But uh, I, I probably butchered that name wrong. Yeah, I'm sorry if I did, but we just got to get diamond rank on this conflagration. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. I just suck with saying, like, complicated words, okay? I apologize. But, okay. Oh, hey! Wait! I gotta read the magic candy description. And I'm pretty sure it had something to do with, like, Churro Cookie launching the plebbing things. Alright, let me do that real quick. Real quick. Real quick. Description. Churro trunks fire faster and extra choco churro trunks will appear soon after. Churro Cookie will fire all of them at once to destroy oncoming obstacles, creating choco churro jellies. The stronger the enchanted power, the more points for choco churro jellies. Alright. Actual run this time. No mistakes. Nothing wrong happened there. We do it again. Alright. There you go, Stumpy. Nice. So I know it's not- Whoop! Yeah, hey, that was some nice- That was a lot of extra points, to be honest. Alright. I think Diamond Rank may be a lot easier to grasp. Especially with the treasures that we have, have equipped now. At least I hope it is. If it's not, then uh, I'm going to be in a bit of a panic. But of course, I can still always upgrade the cookie. Though, just always has me shaken up, you know? Just like that one uh, Disney show. Uh, shake it up. I think it's Disney. I hope. I, I, I'm, pro I'm probably right on that, but I'm probably wrong. I do not remember. But look at that. We got some Rainbow Bear jellies we've got collected in the run, which already completes our auto mission. Literally every time that... Oh, okay. Well, never mind. I think the ending of that magic candy for uh, the skill, it gives us an extra 15 million points. I... I don't want to toot my own horn, but I'm pretty sure that's really, really good. And also, I don't, I luckily don't have to worry about uh, maxing up the actual treasure of legend, because it's, since it's a good thing that uh, these treasures ha basically have a cap at level seven, just like how the cookie and pet have a cap at uh, level, yeah, level eleven. Which, of course, it's cool that I'm actually running in the shrug, because by the time that I'm releasing these, or at least by the time that I'm recording these, that's what I meant to say. Actually, I just, by the way, I realized this magic candy upgrade is definitely good for attacking more of the sharks. But also, by the time that I'm, like, running in these trials, there's the event where, like, I can collect little research notes for a cauliflower cookie. Not the, uh, research log one. It's the one where you just, like, collect the notes and then you spend the notes at, like, a specific shop. And I also, I already did buy cauliflower cookie in the pet. However, I'm pretty sure they also have a, a special pet egg that I can buy. So I definitely need to get that because... Come on, how can I say no to free loot? So I'm pretty sure they also have a... Oh, nice, I just snagged that extra... Oh, but was it worth it? I just missed the giant potion there. I didn't think it was worth it. Uh, probably got less points in there in total. Curses. But, uh, who, said, who could say no to free loot? And also, I'm pretty sure they also have magic candy in there that I can buy. I think. So I definitely need to get that. And also, I'm pretty sure with this uh, magic candy that I have equipped... Uh, I think I can run a bit, little bit longer in regard to the skill, because, uh, that upgrade, where it has me chucking the churro logs, it, like, lets me run for, like, a, it lets the skill go active for, like, I think two seconds longer, just about, which I know it seems short, but hey, any type of speed is appreciated, especially when you combine it with the hot rod, and while I don't also have it equipped, also the jelly skates. Get these, nice, nice. Got all those, literally all those sharks are being destroyed right now. Nice, there we go. Oh, I didn't even notice, we just got diamond rank, beautiful. I, I swear, I didn't even notice, I was too focused on the plumbing, uh speed. And like how our skill was just running past every single one of these sharks. It was just like, no. That is very impressive. I don't think my skill is going to activate, oh, that's a lot of sharks though. I don't think my skill is going to activate one more time there. Nope, it's just gone. And for some reason, as I fall, Shiro Kiki's just like, SHIELD! <laughs> Nothing can hit me now. Apparently, which is, that was actually perfect when pausing in front of the huge wave of sharks. But there we go. Diamond rank has been achieved with Churro Cookie, and we got the Force Inhabitant being reached diamond rank in all corresponding trials. Which, you know, we have to view. We have to see that. Uh, where do I go? Oh, first of all, I want to get all these rewards. 500 crystals and a bunch of things, coins, uh, things from the magic handy, of course, because I can't spend, I can't scroll down, there we go, and spirit potions and stuff like that, so that's great, and if we go back, we also have an extra reward for, wait, for waiting for us, there we go, ah, 2,000 magic powder, I need that because I spent that for the magic candy, and of course, if we go over here, 
please. Look at that! It's a thing for uh, flipping cookie molds and also uh, churro. I wish they would have thrown Wind Archer in there, but I'm pretty sure that's different. It might be uh, some desert forest place. I don't know, but with that being said, I'm happy about this. If you did enjoy this video, then please be sure to leave a like on it. Also, share with friends more quick run content. And if you enjoy my content in general, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel? Also, hit the bell if you want to be notified of all my content in the future. And also, I have merchandise available if you want to check it out. I'm not forcing you to buy anything. I'm just saying there might be something interesting in this shot that you might be interested in. Also, quick run iceberg resurface. You should probably check out that video. It's a really good. It's a really good video. But above all else, I will see you and Denise and Guardians in the next video. Hail the hype beast.